Hello, viewers, welcome to another homebrew review uh, with me, the Master Puppets, and a couple of moles. And we're going to be looking at a local homebrewer's homebrew today. Uh, it's Peter Flut, who is a me member of the Olbo Borgalau, which in case you call Olbo Brewing Guild, even though it's kind of a small one yeah. to be calling it a guild. But uh, yeah, and um, this is his kind of clean up beer. It's called an English IPA. Yeah. It's just losing all the leftover malt and hops and yeah. all he had, I guess. Yeah. I was out today and he offered us a one liter bottle yeah, or a growler filled. Growler, <laughs> filled our growler yeah. and we're, I was out there to get some malt for cream. our home brew. Yeah. We're brewing right now. So thank you for uh, selling us that. Yeah, and the beer and the plaque. Yeah, yeah, we got a periodic poster. <laughs> so, two actually, so thanks Peter. Um, yeah, well, you want the honors? Uh, so we got the English IPA here poured, it's on, what was it, 7 yeah, the, uh, It was estimated to 6.6% alcohol, and the actual alcohol is 7.8, so that's yeah. pretty big for an English IPA, but uh, yeah, there it is, it's a hazy orange kind of color, a one and a half finger kind of off-white head, yeah. it looks pretty nice, let's check out the aroma. Quite a lot of fruity esters on there, yeah. uh, it's, by the way, the hop used in here is Chinook, uh, Simcoe, and Progress hops. And Chinook and, and I don't know if it's progress where that's from, but Chinook and Simcoe is of course American. Um, and you do get some citrus that may note, but it smells very fruity. And I was thinking a uh, Pilsner kind of character as well, I don't know. If... I'm getting like a... It, it, it's got some very fruity, almost light tropical fruity aroma too, actually. Yeah. Just lightly. And some orange. Grape, a little bit of grapefruit too, but it's it's on the milder, milder side. It's yeah. not in your face. I think it's late hopped, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it has a one minute bore. Yeah, so that's, that's yeah. minutes. It's uh, it's late hopped, but it's not dry hopped. But um, late hopped with Simcoe. Yeah, some of the citrus notes, a little bit of sweet malt. There is like a light astringent, light tartness to it, light yeah. astringency maybe. This smells very nice. Should we give it a taste? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Definitely English in the taste. Yeah, uh, quite malty. There's some caramel malt. Is that caramel? Well, yeah, I think it was caramel or something. Yeah, caramel, caramel pilsner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you were probably right about the pilsner quality. Uh, yeah, it's definitely got a little bit of caramel maltiness. It's the mouthfeel is a light to medium. Mm -hmm. It's dry. What flavor do you pick up? The, you can definitely taste the Cinco hops, there's that tropical kind of... Uh, really great, uh, kind great, of great yeah, great. But it's not uh, like in an American in your face, it's definitely on the English side. Um, light astringency to it. And citrus notes, maybe a little bit of grassy note. It's got some spicy character to it too. Mm. Like a peppery kind of note on the back end. Yeah. It, it's, it's pretty drinkable, pretty refreshing. Like, yeah. Pretty re refreshing, yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I prefer the American one, so I would have liked some more hops in there. This would be a pretty good beer if it were in cask form. Uh, oh, both. yeah. I would love it would be a nice cask beer. Um, in, indeed. Um, but um, mouthfeel is pretty fine, and I mean, for an English IPA, it's, 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 it's pretty well done. Uh, but as for my own personal preference, since there's Chinook and uh, Simcoe in there, I would have wanted a little more hot flavor. <laughs> but that's just because I'm a huge hot head, so. But what else do you pick up other than like the caramel sweet malts and the hoppy flavors we talked about? There is as, as well that Pilsner kind of taste. Um, and caramel. Yeah, it does have a light tartness, just lightly. Yeah, yeah. It, but you don't taste the alcohol at all. No, that's well hidden. So I think this is a dangerous. And it's all. I wonder how I view it. How much I use it on? Because it's it's not really bitter, but it is fairly bitter for an English IPA. Seventy-two. Yeah, that's pretty high for an English IPA. <laughs> so it's it's kind of like on the bordering on an American one, just that the hot flavors aren't really punch in your face. But that's probably because it is a dry hop. Yeah. But it's pretty tasty. What what grade would you give this? I'm gonna give it a seventy-six. Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. It's a decent beer. Um, I would love to be able to brew. Again, I'm actually now a little bit of a female character in the back end. But yeah, I would love to be able to brew a bunch of that yeah. myself. Well, now we got up the, the, yeah, the recipe. recipe, yeah. <laughs> Off stuff, that's Danish. But uh, yeah, so I'll be me. Uh, I'm kind of right there with you. I'm going 72. It's a it's a good uh, English IPA, uh, but 
mainly because personal preference, I would have wanted more hops in there. But Star Alliance, it's pretty solid. Maybe a little less IBU, a little less bitterness, but other than that, it's pretty tasty. So yeah, guys, that does it for this home brew review. Been a while since we did one, and thanks to Peter for the for the beer and for the posters. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna say cheers. Cheers. And we're gonna see you guys in another home brew review.